But after years of discussions and months of negotiations, I have little question that as long as this president is in the Oval Office, a real solution is probably unattainable. This was not an easy decision for me. From my first day as Republican leader in the Senate, I've called on presidents from both parties to work with Congress on real solutions to the problems that we face. This president has proven that he will do almost anything to protect the size and the scope of Washington, D.C.'s burgeoning bureaucracy, including to threaten the economic security of every American by backing us up to the edge of default. Now, I've heard some on the other side of the aisle suggest that Republicans have put us in this position by refusing to accept what they call a balanced approach. My response is that if the American people have learned one thing over the past few years, it's that they need to bring their decoder rings to any debate in Washington these days. When Democrats say investment, they mean government spending. When they say revenue, they mean higher taxes. And when they say shared sacrifice, they mean they want you to take the hit, not Washington. So where do we go from here? Well, I was one of those who had long hoped we could do something big for the country. But in my view, the president has presented us with three choices, smoke and mirrors, tax hikes, or default. Republicans choose none of the above. I had hoped to do good, but I refused to do harm. So Republicans will choose a path that actually reflects the will of the people, which is to do the responsible thing and ensure that the government doesn't default on its obligations. 